Ghetto Cowboy movie, <clears throat> I was talking to Crazy Bone, I don't know, a couple of years ago. And I said, hey, man, because the way that Ghetto Cowboy came about, the concept behind it was the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, at uh, like one of the studios we're at, you know, there's always a movie on or that is and any other. And so I'm not, I think it was like one of those McClane's Wood movies, whatever. And he said, yeah, nigga, make me one of them songs, something like that. And I was like, what? What do you mean? He said, yeah, a Western. And I was like, well, what do you mean? Make me one of them songs. Because that's what Cray, Cray would hear something, and he knew that this nigga could play anything. And so he was fucking with me we get up when we first did 30. Nigga, can you play that Western shit? I was like, nigga, I could play anything. I keep you I see puzzle with me. I can play anything. And he's like, nigga, do me that. I was like, what do you mean, that movie? Because, you know, some movie on the TV or something. I was like, he's like, no, a song. I was like, uh, what, like a country western song? The nigga makes me a western fucking beat or some shit. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, okay. And and I did. That's when I came, you know. I was actually writing a different song. That's why the four chords in Ghetto Cowboy. And, you know, a lot of people wanted to take credit for that, like back in the day. There's a lot of people that like to take credit for a lot of things. And you know what I say to them? Because I have a very heavy, heavy, heavyweight lawyer. His name is David Shapiro. Everybody heard of him. So if everybody say, anybody say anything about writing a song, then guess what? Show me the chords, nigga. In fact, I want to bring a keyboard to the court. Play them, motherfucker. And that's what I tell everybody. And nobody wants to fuck with that. So when I actually did get a cowboy, it was the four chords in Ghetto Cowboy. I was actually writing a different song. And Crazy was like, yeah, make me da 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 right? And I was like, I couldn't even think about it. I was like, how do I even make a Western shit? You know, of course I know country Western, but I live in, like, hip-hop and Western. How the fuck do I do this shit? See, Crazy kind of a genius like, like that. I was like, hmm, no, how do I do that? So I was writing another song. can't even remember the name of it, but I recorded it, sang on it. And so the four chords in Ghetto Cowboy came from that prior song that I was writing before that. And, it, you know, I, it never, I never made a song came out or anything like that. Anyway, I own a piece of it, a big piece of it. But, you know, bought me some houses. And so it was a big song. And so, I don't know, a couple, three, five years ago, I don't even know when it was because time is weird in music. But I was with Crazy somewhere, and he's like, nigga, what about that Gale Cowboy shit? Because the video that we did on it was actually more than a video. It was actually a short. We put that together to be a short, and we went to the um, the Disney Ranch, you know, the Cowboy Disney Ranch out in California, and it's like a short. Steve Lobel is the sheriff in it, and that was a big fight there because, you know, crazy wanted to be the fucking, but he wanted to be the bad guy, but he wanted, to be, he wanted lazy to be the sheriff. You know, it was a big fight, and I just kind of was like, all right, I'll be the guy you guys hang, and I'll be in the casket. I, you know, I'll just be that guy, whatever you guys want, because I, I never cared about any of that shit. But Steve was the sheriff. He became that after a big fight. And so that was actually a short film that we edited down to the size of the the, uh, the song, and they released it on MTV and all that kind of shit, and it blew up. But that is a film. It's a short film. So I don't know, a couple, three, four, five years ago, I don't know, I was with Cray somewhere. Like, nigga, why don't we actually, nigga, you make movies now. That's what you do. You, you like, you're at that studio. You own it. And I was like, oh, yeah. So he's like, well, get old cowboy. And I was thinking about it, and then I started writing. And I am still writing. I mean, to write a movie is, is very long. It's, you're talking a couple of years probably to write it. I mean, the ones that come to you quick, three, four, six months. I can write a song on the spot, but a movie is different. You know, act one, act two, act three, right? So I started writing it when he said something about it, I don't know, a couple, three years ago. I don't even know when it was. And I'm still writing. And, you know, I talked to uh, Lionsgate and a few places about it. Everybody wants Everybody wants to do it. Everybody wants to make that movie because the song was a hit. Therefore, they right. feel like the movie will probably be a hit, and it probably will be. Right now, um, kind of black everything is working. Uh, Hip-hop has taken over. Uh, rock and roll is, is, is pop is number two. Rock and roll is number three. So hip-hop took over. It's in the Forbes magazine. So... And hip-hop is primarily black. So black kind of took over. So when you talk about ghetto cowboy, you're talking about black cowboys, niggas on horses. Well, Quentin Tarantino did it with Jamie Foxx, right? And so, in fact, they shot that film, The Interiors, on my lot, Santa Clarita Studios. 
and Quentin's a good friend of mine. Anyway, so in fact, this is a nice story. So when you see Jamie Foxx on so when I come to the studio, I see Jamie Foxx on a horse, and I'm like, I said, niggas on a horse, huh? Because you could talk to Q like that. Q T he's he's you know, he feels like he's a nigga, right? I was like, niggas on a horse, hmm, wonder where you got that idea from. And then, you know, give you that look and then it's like, hmm, right? I'm like, ah, uh, uh, let me see. I did that shit in 98. Uh, hello, right? And so, you know, listen, it turned into a big movie for him. So it was after that that, that I think crazy, some, you know, it had something to do with that, that movie that Quentin did with Jamie Foxx on it. So I'm like, he's like, nigga, we did that shit. Now, yeah, I was like, yeah, man, we should make that movie. He said, we should make that movie. And so I started writing and sort of putting it together, calling producers, calling Lionsgate, calling Warner Brothers, different places like that to see if there's a palette for it, if there's a taste for it, if somebody would actually want to finance it and make that movie. And it was a huge palette. I was like, wow. I, I didn't really recognize maybe with Jamie Foxx, you know, you know, and they're on a horse, maybe <laughs> – Maybe people started being like, oh, that might be the thing. So is that coming? Yes, that's coming the biggest way. And will Crazy and Lazy be in it? Yep, I have their number. I have their names on IMDb. So, yep, they'll be in it. Will they be the stars? No. They will be, you know, stars in it, but will they be the main characters? They can't be because, they're, A, they're not actors. B, they don't ride a horse well enough to, you know, ride and shoot and, you know, all that Western-type shit. Beyond the-